move out slowly. Carry on going. Remedy, you need to keep to the right one, yeah? Oh, we started on the right one. Let's see, I need to go a bit further. Mm. Welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Salmon and today I am doing a mock test with Palamity. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for now your me. test is coming up very very soon. Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, a bit. I feel like it's just like normal nerves but I, I don't doubt that I can pass. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just about getting into that mindset. Not letting like, the nerves yeah. get to me on the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay so you've never done a mock test before? No I've not. But you know what's to, what to expect in this drive yeah. today? Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. No talking, you know what to expect here? Yeah, well, you can go over it if you want. Okay, exactly. well, just follow the road ahead. I'll yeah. always tell you whenever I need you to turn. If not, um, yeah, that's it. Always. I will give you some instructions where I'm going to get you to follow some signs for a little while, but um, I'll tell you in good time, okay? One manoeuvre and possibly the emergency stop, similar to everything you've already been practising. All right, now, before we get started, a quick question about your vehicle. Could you tell me where would you find the brake fluid and how do you check is at the correct level? Um, you'd find it at the bonnet, okay. I believe is the name, and you can get a dipstick and if it comes in between the min and the max line, then it's at the correct level. Okay. All right. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, we're going to start the engine, we're going to make our way to the end of this road and then turn left. Okay. Okay. So for anyone that's new to watching these videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to get serious getting into this now. Let's go. Drive off whenever you're ready. Oh wait. Turn on the engine. There we go. The car coming. You said to just push it for it to come Pull off. Pull to right? turn off. Pull. I if I pulled it right. There we go. Maybe I should wait for him. So turning left at the end, okay? And traffic lights turn right, please. No worries. China get used to the feel of this car because it's quite different to the one I learned with. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you get into a new car, it takes it's a It's always like this, yeah. isn't it? Calamity does have a really smooth brake when it comes to approaching junctions, but it's a good idea to already approach in second gear so that you have a better chance at continuing through without having to stop. As soon as you enter a roundabout, be sure to count the exits as you see them in front of you. Palamity did miscount the exits on this roundabout. Yes. 
makes it. This is the third. Third. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It's so long. So there, Palamini did move over to the left a bit too late, but she was checking her mirrors and the white car was not trying to speed up. So she does deal with the situation safely. But you always want to be on the left hand lane as you're passing the penultimate exit. So as Palamini was passing the third exit, we should have already been in the left hand lane to take the fourth exit. So as we're taking the third exit straight on, Palamity should have started in the left-hand lane. Be sure to listen to instructions carefully. The serious fault here is the fact that Palamity has started in the right-hand lane and then switched into the left-hand lane without checking her mirrors. Even if you're in the wrong lane but you check your mirrors, it's not as bad as if you just switch over lanes without checking your mirrors, especially when the traffic is busy. Should I just follow the road? Just ahead, yeah. I'll always tell you whenever I need you to turn, okay? Okay, no worries. When making a right turn, if there's a filter lane in the middle of the road, be sure to go into this section when making the right turn. If we end up waiting for oncoming traffic, we're in a safe position where the traffic behind us can still continue without being obstructed. Take the next road on your right, please. Is that from where this that white right car here, is yeah. coming out? road on your left please. All right, if you could pull in and park up on the left hand side, just in that space right there, just don't worry about the driveways. be right there thank you okay so what I'd like you to do now using the vehicle in front I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise so start alongside this vehicle in the road then reverse back and finish within two car lengths and try not to touch the pavement so think of the driveway as a high curb okay Reverse, right? Yep, yeah, okay. Palamide carries out this reversing maneuver really nicely. Now, before starting to reverse, she made sure to look all around, checking from her left all the way around towards her right blind spot. Now as she's going back, she's keeping the car really slow, continuing to check over her right shoulder. As she gets to about a 45 degree angle in the road, she does stop and then steer. Now dry steering is not a concern in your driving test, but it is something you want to try and avoid as a new driver. It's best to keep the car moving ever so slowly and then steer while you're doing this. But if you find it's overwhelming to do both things at once, you can stop and then steer, but over time, 
try and keep moving as you're steering. Um, should I reverse a bit? Because this will be great. Thank okay. you. Try them when you're ready. No worries. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them. They come in here. Yeah. Oh, he's going a bit fast. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. There we go. In turn mode, please. beams on that car that yeah. just passed I had a feeling they did <laughs> so ahead of us we've got a priority sign where we need to give priority to oncoming traffic but as the road ahead is clear, Palamides checking her mirrors towards the right and moves over to the right in good time. If you see anyone coming towards you, you want to make sure you stop behind the giveaway line as they have priority as we don't want to cause the oncoming traffic to have to step off the accelerator or have to brake for us. The end of this road turn right, please. Traffic light junction, turn left please. Oh wait, you said turn right, didn't you? Turn left, yeah, but oh, turn now left, sorry. do what's safe. Is, is into it? this bit still. Yeah, if you if you steer sharply, just put your signal on for this. And just turn it all the way, we can get into that for the lane on the right. Go on, just move in now. And you can just go up to the stop line. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then just straighten the wheel. And then just wait as normal. Thanks. Remedy, you need 
to keep to the right one, oh, yeah? Because we started on the right one. There were two lanes to turn left. Palamity was in the right hand lane of the two, so she needed to keep that right hand position when making the left turn. She was checking her mirrors, but not acting on what she could actually see. As there was a car to her left, she should have kept in the right hand lane the whole time. Calamity's main concern with big roundabouts is she stays too close to the right even when her exit is approaching, so she's leaving it too late to move back into the left-hand lane. We should get going. Yeah. Two can fit down here, okay? Sorry? We can both fit down here. Oh. forward slowly you're not gonna know unless you go forward slightly okay take the gap with this car go on you can take it after them okay that's just after them that's it I just feel like I've been honked at so many times. The roads are a little bit busy. Yeah, especially at this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, now at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right. It's the second exit. Straight 
straight on from here. I think there's just been a collision. If yeah, you just stop I was right wondering here, what happened. If you just wait right here. Um, Oh, they're arguing. That's not yeah. Good. Uh, just go forward. Go on. Going forward. And just come over around towards the left as much as you can. Keep going all the way into the left. We're going to go around the top of the bucket. So just keep going forward. Ever so slowly. Just wait for these guys. Yeah, and just keep going ever so slowly forward. Okay. Yeah, go on. Around the car yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, keep, keep the wheel straight though. Don't, don't turn. Don't turn. You're going to oh, hit the car. Oh, You're going to keep it straight. Now Sorry. turn. You have to go past the car, don't you? Oh, first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go straight from this. Sorry. All right, so that's the end of your test. Yeah. How was the drive? Um, I feel like it could have been a bit better. I feel like, um, especially at the roundabouts. Roundabouts definitely seem to be a bit of a weak spot. Yeah. Is that the case? I feel like it's because with the area I drive in, I'm so used to those ones. Yeah. So doing different ones was a bit tricky. Yeah. Um, but it's always good to practice in different areas. You, you yeah, no, I, I am glad I did it because yeah. I, I want to get a feel of different yeah different areas so yeah i am happy i did it but yeah i think it's just a matter of getting used to it i found that a bit tricky so with roundabouts there's a few few things i want to kind of break it down firstly knowing when to enter you're a little bit cautious yeah because you tend to watch the traffic on your right and then because they're there you're waiting but then yeah. if they're waiting who are they waiting for we need to look past them at yeah. the actual roundabout traffic and sometimes you're missing gaps because you're not watching the traffic in the roundabout mm -hmm. and there's opportunities we could be taking yeah yeah hesitation. um the other thing is you know on those roundabouts when we're making a right turn like second or third exit mm -hmm. sometimes what was happening was because you know you're turning right you you were staying on the right okay but then your exit's now coming up Oh, so you know how you're supposed so to kind of be moving to the yeah. left after the that's yeah. why you know when that silver car was behind us mm -hmm. and then i had to kind of just talk you through it oh yeah yeah, yeah. like at that. the start of that roundabout you did it really well you kind of go around as soon as you're going around we were already passing the second exit and you stayed hugging the roundabout when i should have been moving when we should have been exactly yeah so kind of gradually spiral out so that you get into that lane rather than staying on the right and then trying to exit yeah yeah, yeah. your parallel park perfect oh really okay no concerns thank god yeah? yeah really great observation really good control you know your references with that one really well yeah. small junctions stopping looking all of that was great there were okay. no concerns on any of them just the big roundabouts is where you had trouble um mm. you know when we kind of you were about to go the wrong way at the traffic lights and i said oh no we can just tuck back in mm -hmm. you were in the right lane there weren't we now um when the traffic before you made junction. me move yeah I was no, yeah. no. Oh. So when I made you move, yeah. we're now going left now, aren't we? Oh, and I was on the right. We're in the right-hand right lane, yeah. which is fine. Just when you moved off from there, you should, should just have just stayed back. in that lane. Oh, should have stayed. I should yeah. have moved back. Because you checked the mirror and there was a car there, wasn't there? I think there was. Oh, yeah. Can so we move over? No, not when there's a car yeah. there, no. So you I should saw, have just you stayed. You saw the black car, but you still started moving. And I thought, oh, come on, there's a car there. Don't do that. Yeah, because I, because my instructor always tells me like, oh, learner driver should always be in the left. So I, I, I no. like my subconscious knew I was in the right <laughs> lane, and I was thinking, move, 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 move. But then, I should have probably, like you said, there was a car there, so I should have, you know, yeah. the safer option is to. I stay. get what your instructor's saying there. You don't really want to be in the overtaking lane, but then, it's only really an issue if you're being extremely slow and you're not driving correctly in that lane. Yeah, being in that lane is not the end of the world. Yeah, as long as you do all of it safely. Exactly. Isn't it? So. The fact that we were on that lane, I would have just carried on, made the turn, and then merged in later, which you did by checking your mirrors. Yeah. Yeah? Everything's going down today. All these blue lights. <laughs> <laughs> and you you know, you said, oh, I keep, everyone keeps hooting me. You said it at one point. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. You I weren't did. the only one being hooted. Was it kind of just everyone the, the was just kind of hooting at each busy. other? Okay. I feel like in these situations, it's easy to kind of overthink and be like, oh, it's at me, it's at me, but they probably yeah. weren't even hooting at me. Um, and then that junction where I kind of talked you through it, the person behind us was getting frustrated. It's because when you stopped, you stopped a bit early and you said, oh, I can't see, but then you just sat there. Yeah, and I should have probably been peeping. Yeah. Much, yeah. Especially when you can see, oh, it looks empty. You just sat there. Yeah. If it looks empty, 
Come on. Yeah, I noticed I did that. I yeah. stayed there a bit too long. <laughs> Should have probably not done that. That's it. Um, what else was there? What else was there? Sorry, my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. I'm I do long. that as well. It's been a long day, as you can see. Okay. Um, so would that have been a pass or fail? Oh no, it wouldn't be a pass. It wouldn't be a pass, would it? There was, it was roundabouts that let you down. Oh really? You know when I said to you earlier, take the third exit straight ahead. Now what oh, lane which lane would you about. be the straight ahead third exit? Left or right? See, I'm thinking for straight ahead, it would be left. Okay. But then when I hear third exit, I automatically assume after 12 o'clock. Okay, so which what what option are you going for? I left or right? Answers, didn't I? Um, I feel like <laughs> for straight ahead, because you told me to go straight ahead, I should have probably stayed in the left. Yes. And I was in the right, wasn't yes. I? Yes. So unfortunately, that was a serious fault because now you've gone into the roundabout in the right-hand lane, and as you're leaving, you've just driven out without really checking, oh, without and, checking, and okay. or signalling for that matter. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's not good. So you know you're going straight. That's why I said straight ahead, third exit. Even though it's there. It's the third one because there's tiny little exits on the yeah. left. So but yeah, I use just the had twelve o'clock rule. Right. Yeah, that's it. Twelve o'clock rule. Will work I normally, this is what this is the thing. I normally live by that rule. If it's like after twelve o'clock, you stay on the right. If yeah. it's before on the left, I don't know why I didn't implement it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's no, okay. I'll it's all a learning curve. That. But yeah, you need to make sure with your roundabouts that you're you're watching the traffic on the roundabout and not hesitating. Yeah. And mostly when you're on the roundabout, you're trying to actively spiral out. So I'll tell you which videos to watch to help, and I'll okay, tell you guys as do. well. Is one that I did very recently, which is really helpful. Um, but yeah, um, well done. It's not a bad Thank run. You. There are good bits as well. And that's what you've got to take forward from this. Good luck with your test and hope Thanks. that goes well. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, that is the end of today's mock test. Hopefully that video has been useful for you guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below. It is really, really late now. Really, really dark. Kidding, it's only 4.30. <laughs> this is what it looks like at 4.30. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. You feeling okay? Yeah, I feel all right. I'm, I'm happy with...